Hello everyone welcome back to the channel so we are currently dealing with attitude lecture attitude unit so in this unit for this particular lecture we'll be looking about moral attitude social attitude and prejudice let's get into the topic directly what is moral attitude See moral attitude refers to an individual's beliefs and values about what is right and wrong good and bad fair and unfair just and unjust in moral sense they are shaped by various factors including personal experiences cultural norms and socialization see what does the definition of the introduction says about moral attitude is it is our own a person's own beliefs and values like about what is right and wrong good and bad just and unjust in the sense of moral morally see they are morally shaped by various factors like personal experiences different cultures to how you mingle in the society etc those things all play a vital role uh, in the moral attitude like it guides a person's behavior it guides in decision making it guides in judgment and in moral and ethical matters those all play a very very vital role in that now moral attitude refers to an individual belief and values too so that is something we must take into look into like truthfulness altruism empathy awareness um strong emotions these all come under the moral attitude now what is the importance of moral attitude reflection on belief of individual it actually that reflects see an individual might have belief in something okay uh, and it brings in judgments about what is right and wrong good and bad and what is morally acceptable and what is morally not acceptable uh, that ref reflection is brought by the moral attitude of an individual societal importance it is also essential for fostering the social cohesion uh like promoting fairness and also upholding the ethical standards at personal and societal context see you know how positive moral attitude eventually it will help in social harmony peace societal cohesion everything that's something moral attitude brings in the next one is personal integrity like it helps in maintaining that personal integrity where it kind of reflects an individual's commitment act in accordance mo- accordance with moral values like even when faced with challenges or whatever it may be like like for example we can say that now uh, speaking truth even when uh, being forced to speak otherwise uh, say the lie or uh, say which is not truth so that is personal it will help in maintaining the personal integrity now what are the qualities of moral attitude reverence the foundation for a man's moral principles is the capacity to hold moral beliefs uphold them and respond to them this is something like uh, like uh, the deep foundation of within an individual like to hold that beliefs which he has uh, hold them and also respond to that beliefs that is reverence like for example we can say like um, deep respect towards others is essential uh, and is essential uh, for justice whenever it requires acknowledging their rights and curbing one's own desire for uh, when we take it simply on a simple note like just i mean you have been brought from the younger age that we should build or give respect towards the elders see when you grow up at, at, at a certain stage or age like you still show that respect that is because of the capacity to hold your moral beliefs you did not just because you grew up or got influenced by other people you did not change your beliefs you still stood up with your beliefs that the capacity to hold and respond to that and still you pay respect to the elders that is the reverence next one is faithfulness see faithfulness is very very crucial aspect like 
like putting one's allegiance to into action and remaining faithful to someone or something even though some adverse circumstances occur like uh, a married couple being faithful to each other that is something morality to brings veracity reliability it's also called reliability like a person who is dishonest not only displays moral deficiency but also suffers from crippling effects on every aspects of society like like personality moral life ability to uphold moral principles see integrity constancy and responsibility awareness or the cornerstones of that moral veracity in general next one is goodness the foundational element of moral principle is goodness like it is nothing but a moral value which fully embodies the entire reign of moral values than any other see it's nothing but uh, like having kind thoughts only to one person um it also demonstrates having a loving giving character to the entire society too that shows your goodness that shows the individual's goodness which brings in a major fact coming on to the next let's look into the dimensions of moral attitude moral principles and values see they are grounded moral attitudes are grounded by fundamental principles and values which help in determining what is right and what is wrong like fairness justice honesty compassion this is something which is very much important like uh, for example a civil servant having a strong moral conduct attitude may prioritize in fairness and advocate for equal treatment to every people uh, to all the persons next one is ethical decision making the moral attitudes influence how individuals approach the ethical decision making by providing or guiding the individuals to make choices aligned with their moral attitudes moral values moral principles everything moral responsibility see moral attitude brings in a sense of moral responsibility towards others and society where it emphasizes on the importance of considering the consequences of action on others and also taking responsibility for one's own just because you find some irregularities in the in the in the district of yours and if you do not take the responsibility as a district collector you will be eventually uh, not popular among the people but if you take into responsibility and correct that irregularities in your district eventually people will consider you as a uh, you might a district collector might become a popular person in the district that is something uh moral responsibility brings in next one is moral development see attitudes moral attitudes evolve and develop over time only through socialization education and personal experiences see it becomes more refined as individuals mature and engage in more moral reflection see when you you when you work towards more morally on daily aspects you eventually develop moral moral aspects uh, on the whole next one is moral courage the attitudes can manifest in the form of moral courage which involves willingness to stand up for one's ethical beliefs and take action in the face of moral challenges and wrong doing you are doing wrong so i can take action against you that is uh billing us to stand up against uh for stand up for one moon's ethical beliefs and take action in if anyone for does something wrong that is dimension different dimensions with moral attitudes do next we'll be looking into the significance of moral attitude personal growth see it develops and nurtures the moral attitudes which is essential for personal growth because it helps in the ethical decision making and helping in creating a harmonious society shaper of moral attitude see education upbringing and exposure to various perspectives 
are very much important in shaping the moral attitude creating a better world by having proper at moral attitude it brings in mind full of ethical implications on the by their actions which individuals can contribute to a more just compassionate and a morally responsible world next one is variable in nature see it is also important to note that moral attitudes can be very very can vary across individuals cultures and contexts see what uh, might be uh, morally acceptable for one person might not be acceptable for another person that is something variable in nature and it has to be accepted so now coming on to the implications the moral attitudes are often rooted in conscience like they prevent an individual from acting immoral or in a corrupt way like uh, um for example a person brought up in the indian culture might not consider old parents as an economic burden and take care of them because it's the moral duty of him or her and again despite being economically ridden debt ridden farmers usually do not uh, involve in unethical practices like stealing no they don't do that but however there there are something negative act, uh, impacts which happen like they can use to justify violent behavior and still society will accept it because moral attitude has strong emotions like like motivating a person towards riots genocide and terrorism to justify religious or regional issues um a person um yes these are some things which we can take into consideration and we must act in properly now coming on to the social attitude so it's a behavior pattern a conditioned response or a anticipatory tendency towards the social stimulus it is the outlook of a person towards social entities like society culture organizations experience institutions etc it's also shaped by personal experiences and observation and can be learned from predispositions like example attitude of mainstream society towards lgbtq community see what it says is see it, social attitude is a behavior pattern okay which a person shows in the society okay a person how he behaves in the society through his behavior like attitude or whatever may call it that is something like the attitude of mainstream society towards lgbtq community see one person might have a good positive attitude towards the lgbt community but few persons will have negative attitude towards the lgbtq community those are something which must be tackled with and that is something social attitude speaks of it is a person's behavior in the social place or person's attitude in a society societal place now what are the significance like understanding the vulnerability see positive attitude towards like poverty deprivation discrimination reflects a civil servant's empathy and concern for the underprivileged like uh, in key like um, like it shows the com- compassion for those facing marginalization and hardship like uh, increasing the focus on building ramps for people uh, like handicapped people to uh, for easy access and inclusive public space these are all something social commitment for the people combating bias see unbiased treatment is very very crucial like civil servants must not let stereotypes on prejudice influence their actions with individuals It's like we can say a good example is ias officer amit gupta's daliya chalao actually it's, a, it's an initiative in badaun district of up where a successful action against manuel scavenging was taken uh, 
to overcome that part in the society that is something combating the bias next one is sarvodaya and antyodaya see civil servants should be guided with by the principles of sarvodaya that is welfare for all and antyodaya that is upliftment of the most disadvantaged where the work should be strived for the betterment of the society with a particular force of focus on empowering the poorest sections next one is tolerance the civil servants civil servants should be tolerant to cater the needs of the weaker sections because that's how they can bring the disadvantaged to the disadvantaged people to the upper level which can eventually reduce the poverty deprivation malnutrition etc following that we'll be looking into the attitude towards weaker section of society a positive attitude like deprivation discrimination implies empathy and caring nature of the person like it signifies and compassion compassion towards the weaker and marginalized sections so i mean supporting those people which will help them in developing their own life that is something showing positive attitude towards the people next one is social inclusive and equality like um like recognizing the rights and dignity of the individuals from weaker section ensuring equal opportunities access to resources and participation in decision making process so this is something a social inclusion and equality brings in advocacy and support see like involving act actively advocating for their uh, for the rights of the weaker sections amplifying for their voices providing support to empower them it entails recognizing and challenging systemic barriers that perpetuate inequality this support will bring in a major change in the society but still there are some negative attitudes like discrimination and prejudice see discrimination stereotypes prejudice like it involves like treating individuals from different sections uh, differently and holding holding bias about their abilities or worth like expressing discriminative views on caste religion gender disability these things are all brought in the discrimination indifference and apathy see it reflects a lack of concern for their struggles or challenges see it in all the passive stands where uh, people the civil servant or whom so ever it may be uh, is not actively engaged to take steps to address the inequality or injustice commit which happens which is going on towards them next one is stigmatization or marginalization like stigmatization marginalizing weaker sections like reinforcing the stereotypes isolating them from the mainstream society it brings in a cycle of exclusion and limited opportunities for them which will not allow them to improve their life again being pushed into the cycle of which was poverty deprivation malnutrition everything that is something which should be avoided clearly following that we'll be looking to prejudice prejudice involves the negative preconceptions about entire groups of people often based on stereotypes like uh, see it's not re- uh, based on reason or personal experience but uh, persons belonging to a particular social group like i belong to that group so i don't like that group so that is prejudice towards another group i belong to that group uh, i don't like that group because just because i belong to this group i don't like the other group because all the people in my group do not like other group that is prejudice towards other group or other people like actually they tend to assume all members of group are same ignoring the individual difference which can lead to discrimination um for example like prejudice against women driving doubting the capability capabilities of dalits and unfairly assuming the poor hygiene among the tribal communities these are some examples of prejudices like how can we 
counter those targeting the root identify the source of the prejudice and tackle it from its root tackling it from its root limit exposure to bias like reducing the opportunities to encounter biased information or any environments that promote injustice or prejudice promote shared identity encouraging the individuals to consider a broader social identity like national citizenship global citizenship instead of only focusing on the narrow groups see when we promote the shared identity it will eventually benefit not only the individual but also the society around next one is increase the intergroup conflict so it's contact actually wrong mistake over here promoting the interaction between different groups build trust and also reduce the mistrust like um organizing interfaith dialogue with people from different religions um discuss their beliefs which fosters the un understanding of religion and dismantles the religious prejudice and finally it's education and information dissemination and utilizing education and dissemination of information to challenge stereotypes and promote the understanding like school curriculums by uh, which celebrate the diversity and highlight the contribution of different communities can counter the prejudice from anger age so yes when sc school celebrate different festivals all together like diwali christmas ramzan all it shows the contribution of all the communities towards the society which will help the people to reduce that prejudice in the anger age itself which will eventually reflect in the better society in future so yes guys we have dealt with social attitude moral attitude and prejudice in this lecture hope you guys understood it the detailed notes will be provided in the telegram channel do watch the videos like the channel and share and subscribe the channel and the video guys we will resume with this unit in the next lecture thank you